Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're trying to figure out which Strixhaven commander is best in CEDH. So we have me on Extus Farm, Nate on Dina Hulk, Tyler on Galazeth Stacks Breach, and Cam on Jazzy Scepter. Begin. Oh, I didn't put gemstone caverns in this. Thing. Well, okay. speaking of, I have a pre-game effect. <laughs> <laughs> Preordain. I feel like I was forgetting an important land. I will draw a card. Command tower. Soul ring. Felwar stone. Pretty good. Cast a jeweled lotus. Wow. Whoa. What is happening over there? That taps for any Great color. Great job, Yeah, Cameron. any color. Nice. That could have taps for nothing. White and triple black. Extus. Auric overlord. Bastard. Draw for turn. Snow covered forest and an elves of the deep shadow. Pass the turn. I'm gonna draw. Cast a mana crypt. Cast a soul ring. Cast a div top. And play a snow covered island. Hmm. And cast a gilded drake. Wow. <laughs> uh, fine. Here you go. <laughs> sure. Give me that. I have one mana floating. I'm gonna spin the top. Okay. I'm gonna put him back in this order. Pass turn. I end a turn mystical tutor. Dramatic reversal is the card that I'm getting. We'll draw. Why'd I take this off? Play island. Soul ring. Sylvan library. Pass. Draw a card. I will attack Cameron for a three. That makes sense. Cast Bergy, God of Storytelling. A polluted delta. Pass turn. Untap. Up you all draw. Pay one. I'll cast Viscera Seer. I'll play my land for a turn. And I'll tap it. Play Sylvan Library. You guys like that card, huh? It's powerful. I will pass the turn. Roll for a mana crypt. No damage. Command tower. Combat. Exus is coming at you, Nate. Take four. Cast my commander. I don't suppose we have any treasure tokens. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and then I'm going to pay two with mana crypt and cast a winter orb. Uh oh. oh. Combo. Combination. Combo. 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 That's synergy. That's synergy. Question. Here's my Sylvan library. Well, I got to get through them. Island is land for turn, and we're going to run out a spell satchel. A what? A spell <laughs> satchel. A spell satchel. Yeah. All right, can I read this? Pass. I will draw a card. City of Brass. Combat. Six at Cameron. I hate this. Dockside Extortionist onto the stack. Holy cow. Many? I have nothing to say for that. Much? Moosen. Nine? Pass turn. All right. Untap. I'll, keep, I'll draw. I'll draw my extra two. I'll keep one extra. My land for turn. Cast Chromox. Imprinting Arbor Elf. Paying one. Cast my commander. Dina, 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 Dina. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. In end step, I'll tap Winter Orb to generate one purple mana. And tap both of my land. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Draw. Play a land for turn. I'm scared of many things. Just in life, not yeah. not in this game particularly. But I'm gonna tap this treasure for one red mana. Tap this div top for one red mana. Tap down Soaring and Mana Crypt here. I'm gonna cast a Shadow Skull Smashing for X is four. My targets are gonna be three damage pointed at Gilded Drake and one damage pointed at Viscera Seer. X is trigger. I have no targets. I will sacrifice Viscera Seer. That seems sensible. I will have no effects. Very well. Move to combat. Nate, I'm gonna come at you with uh, both of these commanders. Pass turn. Go to my turn. We get Sylvan Library here. Take four. Cast. Simic Signet. I have a land to play in Waterlogged Grove. I will then pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card. Play Forbidden Orchard. Combat. Cameron. Get you for four. Dockside and the Bergy. Pass turn. You have two cards in hand? Two. Seems like you have a lot of mana. <laughs> Not I a think, lot to do with it. I think I'll I'm keep... done with drawing cards off of the <laughs> Sylvan Library. I'm pretty sure I can't do that anymore. Coward. Pay one and thought to use Cam. Then take a peek. Get him, officer. That sucks. I think it's Reveals. It is Reveals. We, we see we the hand as well. We get to see. Fluster Storm, Dramatic Taking Reversal, and Force of Vigor. Right. Yep. That's scary that he took the Fluster Storm and not my combo piece. <laughs> that is, I am I am also very scared of yeah. this. Demonic Tutor. I'm going to respond to Demonic Tutor, activate Diff Top. Putting them back in this order, I will further respond to Demonic Tutor. I will tap the Winter Orb for a blue, and tap the Snook Covered Island for a blue. Cast Muddle the Mixture, Excess Trigger. I'm going to target the Gilded Drake in my graveyard. <laughs> yep. That's good. This yeah. Is, this is why we smashed it. Big, yeah. <laughs> big, big, big. I figured play. this was going to come at some point. Yeah. What was instant sorcery? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instant or sorcery. Demonic tutors countered. Unless you have a response. Oh, I'm so sorry. I. <laughs> <laughs> I got distracted with him moving stuff to his hand. I'm like, okay. Nate was just like, yeah, okay, yeah. Model the mixture counters demonic tutor. Just waiting. Okay. Like, it's, it's you, dude. Do something else. <laughs> I'll pass. I'll keep. I will roll for crypt. Take damage. Uh, draw for turn. Move to combat. Cameron. I'm going to attack you for seven. There goes my dreams of drawing two cards. <laughs> <laughs> Cast a Howling Mine. Fun. Fun. Cast a Gilded Drake. No response. Yeah, nothing from me. I would like a third commander, please. <laughs> Dina, 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 Dina. Cast a Veil of Summer. 
That's weird. Okay, you veiled that, but not the. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I thought yeah, about okay. it. I was like, do I wanna? That, that's a tough call. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, my response to veil the summer. Since it fails to exchange, it gets sacrificed, which is not the worst actually. Um, <laughs> activate and defend. Putting them back in this order. That's true. Wait, the howling mine. Do you want to tap it? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna tap this. Oh, for okay. Mana. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. So go to my turn. Here's my Sylvan Library situation. You should keep some extra cards. It's no longer a, a, something good. It's a situation now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me really, the situation. accurate. You get to scribe. Well, the thing, thing is, still scribe. No, the kinda. thing is still good. Yeah, you yes. still get to pick it, among the top three. Yeah. I'm still getting these three cards going. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Keep one good. card. We'll cast Time Twister. I get a counter on. The oh, ha ha! Finally, look what's relevant. <laughs> So this is what I'm thinking. So I'm looking at my Sylvan Library, and there's a Time Twister in there. And you guys saw my hand. I have Dramatic Reversal and Force of Vigor in my hand. I contemplated killing the Winter Orb, but at this point, all my lands are untapped, and it's really helping hurt the other guys more than anything else for me. So really, Time Twister is the only thing I can do to stay alive. So I gotta live on a prayer like Bon Jovi and try to figure out... Am I going to get seven cards that are going to help me win the game? So before we figure any of this out, let's talk about Dragon Shield. If you've watched Play to Win for any amount of time, you'll know that we're a huge fan of Dragon Shield. But we're actually not talking about their sleeves today. We know their sleeves are great. You know their sleeves are great. Today we're talking about this thing, the Nomad. The Nomad is a super cool playmat that allows you to play outdoors, socially distanced, you got it. It's got slots for your cards so they don't blow away in the wind. It's got this little strap to hold your deck in place too. They've really thought of everything. It's also good for like if you need to pick up your game mid-game. Like all of us, oh, the house is on fire. Let me pack this up and then we can watch from outside. <laughs> and continue the game. Hey, well, obviously you would continue the game. I was in the lead. I've actually just been using them to chill on my couch and kind of goldfish my CDH decks while I'm watching TV. It's very nice and relaxing. Check out the Nomad and some other Dragon Shield products down below. Let's go back to this time twister situation. All right. Well, you know what? This helped. Phantasmal image. Oh. Whoa. I'm going to have Phantasmal image enter as a copy of Dockside Extortionist. In response to the trigger, I'm going to sacrifice my treasures for nine red. Ten treasures? Sensei's top. This might work. This might work. Transmute muddle the mixture. Get a dramatic reversal. Stop doing that. You already had that. <laughs> Pay two life and cast Noxious Revival targeting my muddle the mixture. Put muddle the mixture back on top. Crack the sensei's top. Draw a card. Transmute muddle the mixture. Isochron Scepter. Crack two for Isochron Scepter. Activate diff top in response. Cast a mana drain targeting Isochron Scepter. Tap blue blue casting a mana drain of my own getting a counter. No response to mana drain. Fantastic. Your mana drain is countered. Isochron comes into play. Imprinting dramatic reversal. Hilariously, I still have just enough mana where I'll be able to pay two to cast a copy of the spell. Hope that there's no other counter. I would like to respond. I'm going to cast a braid targeting Isochron Scepter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So this yeah. is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pass the turn. This is one of the most defeating things that can happen here. Oh my god, you get so far into the combo, you get to actually tap Isochron Scepter, and then to hear, in response, oh. If you remember, at one point I said that a braid was no good because it's too much mana. A braid's so good. It's just so good. It's so good. Now Cameron has no more dramatic reversal that's been exiled under the Isochron Scepter. I'm at five. I don't survive another round of combat. Yeah, he's just dead out of the game now. He's so good. Untap. Draw a card. Gemstone mine. Counters on it. Chromox. Pitching. Weathered Wayfair. Floating one. Diabolic intent. Sacrificing Dockside Extortionist. I should have a couple red mana here. Two red mana now. Thanks to Chromox and Diabolic intent off a of birdie. That's my hand. Use one red mana to cast Rite of Flame. Making another red mana off a of birdie. Tyler, I'll give you a spirit. Put a peer into the abyss onto the stack. Trigger birdie for red mana. Lose 20 and draw 36. Six cards. A cast mana crypt, make a mana. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide, make another red mana. Cast a Grim Monolith, make another red mana. I'll lose one off of City of Brass. Cast Revel in Silence, get another red mana from that. Wow, Bergy's so good. Twin Flame, copying the Bergy, make a red mana. I'm gonna hold priority on the Twin Flame. Cast Dual Caster Mage, making a red mana. Dual Caster Enter, and I will make a copy of Twin Flame, and then Twin Flame will make a copy of Dual Caster, which will make a copy of Twin Flame, which will go many, many times and make many, many hasty dual caster mages, billions of them. Yeah. And I will attack you all for lethal tutus. Dead. Oh, Man, yeah. I felt so smart putting that together. <laughs> you know what hurts so much too when you cast Peer into the Abyss? The whole breacher in my hand that I would have <laughs> loved to cast. I was just like, you don't even have to talk about it anymore. <laughs>
unfortunately, I wasn't able to get Exodus out in much play. Tyler took it too quickly. I think I would have been able to do some fun, loopy things with Dockside. Uh, but fortunately, at that point in the game, the Time Twister drew me just enough, which was just one tutor, because I had so much mana at that point, plus the Bergy, that as long as I could find some way to get Peer into the Abyss or Ad Nauseam, I knew I was going to be able to find a win, and that's all that needed to happen. Back to game two. I guess we're not back to it. Yeah, yeah that's good, yeah. Here we are. Arrival, game two. Everybody ready to begin? I'm going first. We're rolling? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we have the play to win sleeves now, and you couldn't even see him in the first game because I, I cut him out of the frame in order because it's a kind of like a fisheye lens <laughs> to be able to see the whole board. You can barely even see him, but we got play to win sleeves that nobody can get because yeah. we sold out of them before they even went through patrons. So, <laughs> But they look nice and cool, I think. Yeah, so if you want them, well, you can't get them. I get to draw a card. You sure do. All right, here we go. Draw a card. Play Prismatic Vista. Crack it right away. Cast Mystic Remora. Ah, uh, she. Okay. Pass, pass turn. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Yeah. He is hungry. Do not feed. Are you I'm going to feed him? No. I'm not going to feed the fish. I hope you guys do the same. Scrubland cast Weathered Wayfarer. Pass turn. Correct. Bloodstained Mire. Going down the bayou. Play Death Rich Shaman. Pass the turn. Draw. Play Iwooded Foothills. And pass the turn. Pay for the fish on my upkeep. Draw a card. Ooh. Pass. Are you kidding me? Ha, got him, no guys. Weathered we Wayfarer for you. Unbelievable. <laughs> Draw a card. Emergent Zone. Cast Arcane Signet. Draw a card. Pass turn. Untap. I'll keep it. I will draw. Play my land for turn. And then I will play Dina. Oh, pass the turn. I'll crack it and step. Get a Volk Island. Draw. I still do not want to feed the fish, even though some people have failed. Only once. I think I'm going to feed it once. I'm going to play a Snow Covered Island. Cast an Arcane Signet. I'll draw. Pass turn. Oh, I'm glad that you did. That was the one that I needed. All right, fish will die. Oh, shit. I will draw for turn. I guess I, guess I would have drawn that next anyway. Felwar Stone. Pass. Draw a card. I'm going to Praetor's Grasp Tyler. For your benefit, you two, it is... Almost certainly Underworld Breach. There's a 99% chance it's Underworld Breach. I was I was suspecting mechanized production. <laughs> Cam, I'll get you for one. Pass turn. Weather Wayfair coming in handy. I will draw for turn. Play my land for turn. Phyrexian Tower. And I will cast Demonic Tutor. One card in my hand. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Fiery Islet. Cast a Mox Diamond. I'll pitch a Steam Vents. I'm going to pay four and cast my Commander. Prismari. Treasure. I'll pass. I think I'm going to try to Worldly Tutor on your end step. Boy, you better be getting a Gilded Drake to steal his Commander. <laughs> Huge mistake. Nobody in their right mind who is stuck on two lands and like no other mana should be Worldly Tutoring for a creature they're still not 100% sure about yet. I'll take the Gilded Drake. Let's draw it. Cast Talisman of Curiosity. That Gilded Drake. Dina. I will sack Dina for two black. Boom. Right, you can do that. I completely forgot that was an option. I feel like I such a moron right now. Pass the turn. Activate Weathered Wayfarer since Nate has more lands than I do. Find Phyrexian Tower. I will play Phyrexian Tower as my land for turn. I'm going to cast Grim Monolith. Pass turn. End of your turn. I will exile a land from Tyler's graveyard. I will add black and I'll cast Entomb. I would get Hulk. Temptral. Cast Wither Bloom Apprentice. Be your other one. And add green. And then I will sack Deathrite Shaman, two black, and I'll use the two black to cast Chain of Smog. Who are you targeting? Myself. So, new combo here. Uh, Chain of Smog and Wither Bloom Apprentice works as kind of like a four mana, two card Bomberman type combo. Basically, Nate's going to have to keep on targeting himself with all of the copies because you can Chain of Smog yourself as many times as you want, discard your whole hand, and as you do that, the Wither Bloom Apprentice is going to shoot the whole table and kill us all to death. What's happening right now is the table deciding that I should be resolving my ad nauseum to try to find the answer because I'm looking for a deflecting swat or slaughter pack to stop this combo neither of which actually stop this combo so we're just gonna sleep it off. keep recasting this yeah infinitely targeting myself I don't have anything in my hand so keep copying it yep you will all die yes we're dead we're dead so out of these commanders, I think Dina might be the only one that's like a real good, true CEDH deck going forward. Uh, I think Exodus is maybe just a shitty Tim Najeska, but I, maybe I could be wrong about that. There are some things that Exodus can do. We just didn't really get to see much of them these games. There's a lot better Simic commanders out there. So if, if you do want to play a 
dramatic reversal type combo. Kanan's probably better. Kanan's probably better. And to be honest, we kind of didn't really know what to pick for a fourth commander. So Tyler just picked a blue red strategy that was kind of fun using Trinisphere and stuff. Yeah, it turns out like that synergy like you would have in an Urza deck is powerful outside of Urza specifically. Probably not the most powerful strategy going forward, but if you like these cards and you like blue red artifacts, this is maybe a strategy if you don't want to play Joyra for some reason. You want to play slow blue red artifacts and CDH, maybe this is that deck. They're just putting out more commanders that are for anybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon. Check out our bonfire store for all of our awesome t-shirts and sweatshirts. If you want to pick up any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Our Alter Sleeves affiliate link is also down below. If you'd like to pick up a playmat, a sign one or not sign one, we have someone at our website, playtowinmtg.com. Our podcast is also available on Spotify and iTunes. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.